Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with some explanation. I believe you have tried. So let's start. Now question, what is the major product of this reaction? It is actually student uh, two steps. Sometime it is written also three steps. So this is one, this is two, this is three. So both are correct, doesn't matter. So what happens here? What is the product? So let's learn one thing. So if you take phenol treated with aqueous potassium hydroxide, let's go step wise. So what it first produce? First produce an acid based reaction. We know phenol is weakly acidic, so it will re react strong base like QOH and produce potassium phenoxide salt. Point number one. Now if I ask you one question, phenol versus phenoxide, who is more electron rich? Obviously, you will say, sir, phenoxide is more electron rich. Why? Because it can delocalize its electron. So, this delocalization is more. Obviously, phenol can also do. But just imagine, a negative charge means excess of electron. If oxygen has excess of electrons, so it can delocalize more electron in the benzene nucleus. So, benzene nucleus will be more electron rich or more nucleophilic in case of phenoxide compared to phenol. Now, if you look at carbon dioxide, so carbon dioxide is actually student, it is a weak electrophile. It's first of all gas, it is actually a weak electrophile. So what will happen with this? So in this case, since the phenoxide is more electron rich, so these will react with carbon dioxide. This carbon is delta positive, oxygen is delta negative, so it will push, it will come, and this from para position it will attack and ultimately it first it will produce this one this is minus k plus and double bond o now in the next phase these hydrogen will be abstracted who will abstract obviously student basic medium so this koh is which can abstract this proton it will go it will go it will open driving force of this step obviously aromaticity so here will be o minus and here c o o o minus k plus and upon in the third step that is h 3 o plus it will produce para hydroxy benzoic acid now this is actually student i am talking about this is the major product now along with this there will be a minor product what is the minor product the minor product is ortho hydroxy benzoic acid. Okay. Now you look, sir, isn't it a Kolbe reaction, Kolbe Smith reaction? I agree. It's a Kolbe Smith reaction. But if you say, then you can say, sir, I have seen something else. If you use Q NOH, product is different. Yes. If you use NOH, then here the major product is this one. For sodium hydroxide, this is the major. For KOH, this is the major. Now question, why this discrimination? Now, there is a story of chelation. Chelation means? Chelation means, TI, uh, chelation means when sodium phenoxide is produced, this sodium O minus, because of the smaller size, if you look at K plus versus Na plus, Na plus is smaller. So sodium is smaller, so it can come here and remain in the chelated state. Agree? Now, when carbon dioxide molecule comes, it can come closer, double bond. So, this is delta positive. So, what can happen? This oxygen is delta negative, so they can remain closer together. So, consequently, what you can expect? That, okay, sir, because of this proximity, this negative charge will push here, and through ortho position, this nucleophilic attack happened, and this O minus is produced, and obviously, it is stabilized because of the closer proximity of this positive charge. That's why orthopodic product is major for NaOH. But if you use KOH, this clepus is bigger size, this chelation is not possible. And as usual, the rule for aromatic electrophilic substitution for electron releasing group, paraselectivity. So that's why paraselectivity happened and this produces the major product. So I believe the confusion regarding the use of base like KOH versus NaOH is clear. So if KOH is given, para is the major product. If NaOH is given, ortho is the major product. So here KOH given, what is the major product? Obviously the para isomer. I have explained why not the ortho isomer, meta not possible because 
this phenoxide is electron rich and that's why it increases the electron density in both ortho and para position not meta position so electrophile which is nothing but a electron deficient molecule that will preferentially add either ortho or para here it preferentially attached to get para so meta not possible and what is coh here oxygen gone it's the ipso substitution student not possible so this is gone so answer is option b so this is the end of this today's discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye